ladies and gentlemen, Conodger here. Welcome back to Colanders for the Audi TT Cup. Race number two will be at the Watkins Glen boot. The full course with the chicane and everything. Let's get racing. All right, here we go. Starting in third this time. Shame that I kind of blew that good qualifying lap. That would have had me on the outside of the front row. Would have been nice, but I think we'll have ourselves a, uh, a good starting spot here anyway. Try and follow Yames down into turn one. And then see where it goes from there. This track's a lot different than the cup circuit. Good start from everybody, it looks like. So for a clean run down into turn one. Not clean, huge wreck behind us. Cars scattered everywhere. Luckily, we were just ahead of the mayhem. Whoa! That was pretty lucky on our part. Nice to see Potato up there with Yanes. Even though we couldn't uh, get up there into that fight. We need Yanes to be under pressure. We need him to be on, on the defense. This is really not the stronger layout for me. I've always been better at the cup track here than the full circuit. The boot gives me some problems. We'll see what we can do. Already pushing wide right there. I think the biggest thing is to not panic with the boot. There's so many areas where you can wash wide and you can have the car kind of get out of shape. But you have to not panic. You have to keep your cool and, and try not to overdrive it. I was late on the brakes there. I got lucky that I noticed that they were nose down. This is probably my least favorite turn. This is where I threw away my good qualifying run. It's just so flat on the exit. Any car wants to push wide. Front wheel drive race car really wants to push wide. All right, pretty much locked up up here at the front. Let's see if the draft pulls us back together. Depends on if everybody gets a good run out of turn one. I'm gonna go ahead and be on the boost here to make sure I get as much draft as he does. I should slinky this whole little lead group right back together. Due to the calamity behind us, I guess we're not really too worried about what happened back there. I think he got a better draft than I did. It's gonna make him... Well, I was gonna say put him at risk of overdriving the inner loop, but it was me! It was me! Understeer right there, it's pretty commonplace for it. <laughs> Literally about to say it's real easy to, um, to lose the back end right there. And uh, the car decided that it would, it would help me show an example. I think I dipped the right rear in the grass is what really sent it around right there. But I've gotta I gotta collect myself now. That was that was a big moment. Thankfully this is a front wheel drive race car <laughs> because if this was anything else we would have been really really dead. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. All right. I'm sure we slid the tires real hard and they're all overheated. So I give myself a moment here to get myself kind of realigned and uh, get the tires back into a good temperature range. And then we'll see what we can do from there. I'd like to say it was a good save, but really it was um, pure luck <laughs> and 
and a good car. Good, good handling car with uh, enough grip and downforce to, to keep it pointed straight. Potato is still within decent distance of Yames, but the only hope we really have is if those two get to racing. I feel like what's going to happen is Yames will eventually walk away, and then maybe at that point we could reel back in Potato. See, even without touching the grass, I'm always chasing the rear end down into that turn. It's just not... It's not a comfortable feeling, even this one, chasing the rear end down into the turn. But it's the only way to go fast, because otherwise you're going to get just so much understeer that you can't get any time. We're all running, I'm sure we're all running the lowest rear wing setting possible in the car. Which, because German car is negative <laughs> four? Which you would think would be like lift, but no, it's just the lowest downforce setting. I'm losing time there. I might not be able to run down Potato after all. We'll see. Still quite a bit of race to unfold. I thought that last time. I thought that at, at the last race that I would never be able to run down Yames, and we ended up being able to do so. It just took a while. And we were faster than Potato in qualifying by a pretty good margin. I just had a bad, um, a bad lap there at the end that kind of threw that away. He's still running right with Yames, actually. Which is bad for us, because they're drafting. And if they're drafting, they're faster down that long straightaway than I am. Long, long straightaway. I need them to not draft each other, I need them to race each other. That's what I need. Screw you over, Rev Warning! I don't care about you! Okay, he has now fallen a second behind. I think he missed that turn there. mean that you will lose the draft and potentially we could start to reel back in. We shall see. Oh man, did I lose the nose there. That's the same thing that happened in qualifying. It's just like all of a sudden the nose just completely loses grip. I think I might have to really I really settle down and just try for third here. I knew this track was not my best. I knew if I was going to have a good run this weekend, it was going to be it was going to be at the Cup Circuit, not this one. I didn't expect it to be nearly this far up the grid, but I also didn't expect to have that many issues. I thought it would just be slow. I'm actually like struggling to keep the car on track. Very surprising. What's annoying is I didn't have those issues in practice. I only started having those issues in qualifying. And I think that's because I got more comfortable with the car in the first race. And now I'm pushing it harder. And probably too hard. I think I have the pace, I just don't have the consistency. I know I have a lot of push passes to use, but I kind of wanted to save them 
for when I was running better laps. Alright, let's try not to screw this up this time. Wider entry, get the curb on exit. There we go, that's better. That's not the fastest way, but that's at least smoother, more consistent. Bad understeer right there as well. Games at a 156, we're at a 157 too. I think Potato may have over overdone it and is maybe suffering some tire degradation now. Or is just, you know, stuck in the same situation I am where overdriving the car. And this is not a car that can reward you for overdriving. There are some cars that when you overdrive them, when you just push them to their absolute limits all the time, that's when they're the most rewarding. This is not that. Now the nice part of this car is it's not very brutal when you push it over the edge if you overdrive it. Uh, it it's pretty forgiving. But very hard to make up for that lost time when you do overdrive it. Definitely closing that gap. That gap. I'm really surprised that Jem's not up here fighting. I think it's been a while since he's done this kind of stuff. Or anything in the Seto even. I think maybe he was a little surprised by how different this car needs to be driven. Right out of here. A little bit of curb plus extra. Right there. What did we do? He was a 58. We were a 57.5. Alright, we're still closing. I do think I lost some at the end of that lap. Unfortunately. It's kind of the same situation as last race. I need to get closer. I need to apply the pressure if I'm going to uh, be able to make a move. Really pushing it through the chicane. You can see the dust flying. Unlike with games, I feel like that's the place where I'm actually doing okay against Potato. Well, that was better. That was much better right there. I don't think I reaped the benefits of it too much, but it at least felt better. The understeer out of here is one of the places I'm losing a lot of time. Perhaps that's in setup. Perhaps that's in approach. Probably in approach. You use the brakes to get this car to turn so much. A lot of trail braking. Which is typically a setup that I really like. Bad, bad, bad understeer out of there. 57.2 to a 57.2. No gains that lap. He is off right there, though. That's going to be a pretty good run for us. I don't have boost available right now. I have it like the top of the hill. I don't think it's worth using right there. Yeah, I would have it now. Boy, I didn't gain nearly as much as I 
hoped I would right there. But maybe him going off got into his head. That's nice. See how much more you can push the outer loop with a different exit. Another good run there, but he also matched me pretty well. Try a different line here. Oh, look at the benefits on the exit. That different line was definitely better. A later apex to help get to the throttle. Little bit of understeer out of there. Not too bad. A little off there that won't hurt us too much. Still be a pretty decent lap. 57 2, 57 1. Not a much. Not a much. But it was something. Really expected we would gain a lot more down this straightaway than we did last lap. This is very much so the same situation as last race. And I feel like, unfortunately, it's going to play out the same way. But for a worse position. We are both really pushing the inner loop. I think I may have actually gained a touch on him there, though. It takes a different line through here. I think mine's maybe a little bit safer. Forgot my new line through here. He didn't have a great run either. Four laps. That should be enough fuel. More than enough, actually. Overdrove it. We overdrove that one right there. That's okay. Two point two. It was a good lap. Power it out of here. Still got five of those to use. Yeah, I need to be using them. Probably only two laps to go. I didn't realize we would be on a timer still. When does it give it to us? Use it down the straightaway here, see what happens. I was on the brakes a little early there, but I tried to use it to my advantage. Feel the front tire straining right there. Two point one. This is this is borderline infuriating. All right, under two, <laughs> at least on the relative. It's a bit wide there, but I think he actually got a better run. Oh, 
Oh, that was beautiful. It's such a good run that I decided to use my boost right here rather than on the straightaway, on the back straight. Fastest lap. Leader's gonna be two to go. So we do get two laps. I didn't think we would. That's gonna be good for us. He may stretch it right here if he uses his push to pass, and yes he is. That's what I suspected would happen. We'll have two to use on the last lap. I'll choose where to use them. Depends on if I catch him or not. Catching at a pretty good pace. Chasing the rear end there too. Good run out. Five tenths is where the draft really picks up. But we're going to get a, a taste of it even here. I messed it up big time there. Messed it up big time. That's the first time it's happened right there. It's frustrating, to say the least. It ain't over though. White flag. Alright, that's it for push to pass. I'm guessing he's probably on it as well. It's been a long time since I've done competitive sim racing, road racing, and I think it shows in the little mistakes here and there, costing me time. Nope. Oversailed it. It was a last ditch effort. Drats. Well, <laughs> basically a mirror image of the first race, just for a different position. A mistake caught me too far back and then just drove my ever-living butt off trying to get back to him and it wasn't it wasn't enough because I was overdriving the car so much so unless anything unforeseen it'd be a second and a third to start but obviously I really wanted the second place again, I thought. Thought we'd have a better chance. This turn. Screw you, turn nine. Caught me out multiple times. Ah, well. Two podiums to start. No technical difficulties with the servers or anything. I'll take that. James puts down a 56-4 in the last lap, just to cement the fact that he's better than us. And there we go, third place. Well, that was a tough one. It was really tough because I didn't have any good battles either. I just, I just kind of, for the whole race, was struggling to catch the cars in front of me. So that, that makes it less fun for a driver. It's very frustrating. But I gave it my all. Alright, well... That'll do it for week one of competition. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.